Hello and welcome to the vlog. This is our how many days now? Fourth day on the GU, but third day of cruising. Yeah, we had, we had a, a day off yesterday. Had a day off yesterday. Yeah. Um, so this was just leaving Wide Water Lock where we moored up, and we're heading on for just for a few miles. But the next lock we're going to is a really fabulously named Black Jack's Lock. So I wonder if we see any pirates. Quite fun. Ah, <laughs> ah, in the arties. I know Bram would be most impressed if we did. So have we found it so far? Um, war levels are okay. Weeds at the bottom end. Although there are weeds up here, they're not obstructing us. I've got to dive into the weed hatch at some point. Get off what's in there. Yeah. Um, locks are heavy. Very. Yeah, we've had a we've had a couple of issues at your which we'll talk about. Um, Trap yeah. fingers. Four finger. Yeah, broken fingers. Well, I don't know if it's broken, but it's definitely very swollen. Yeah, all sorts of nasty. I hurt my back, which is one of the reasons why we had a day off yesterday, because it's two days really hard, hard locks here, and uh, when you've got a bad back and your fingers aren't very good. It hurts. <laughs> it does hurt. That's why we had a day off. Yep. Oh, look, some firewood going wanting. Oh, yeah, I see that. So anyway, we're heading on a just a few miles today. Um, we're uh, cruising up on our own today. Mark is settled back down a few miles back because he's close to his home. And Mark and Julie are working. Working. So they'll catch up sometime. But look at all the logs. Look. look. Sure they won't stay there very long. Anyway, so on with the vlog. Still very warm. Oh, first of August. Yes, it is the first of August today, so as we say. No, it's too late. It's ah, gone it's gone ah. two o'clock, I can't do it. Gone twelve o'clock. Had it been before twelve it's I could have said. Today, one o'clock. We did, yeah, we had a Got the, put some washing on, made some sausage rolls. Eaten them? Well, no, we haven't eaten all of them. Eaten much, yeah. 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 So, pass some cruising, cruising sausage rolls down to Mark and Julie. So that means now they've got to turn the engine on and cruise because it's the law. Yes. Otherwise, sausage they can't eat the sausage rolls. Cruising. Yes. That's if the Davies and the Weirs get together. It's only because there's no pizza delivery around here. <laughs> yeah, that was the message following us. That's where those blue flies can be joining you up inside the boat. Where? Oh yeah. We could, we could pick them up. Damson flies. I must admit the Grand Union is getting a little bit prettier. It's been very, de very tiring seeing all that industrial. Yeah, we're coming out to the top end of the. Um, well, a few miles ago, yeah. We're coming to the top end of the urban outskirts of London. Yes, it was getting a bit challenging, I think. Well, it, says in the book, anyway. it was a lovely. Lovely little spot, although the trees are overhanging. Nice and quiet, really, really quiet at night. But oh my goodness, being next to the gravel quarry, the aggregates, uh, it was very noisy from 7:30 in the morning. 
completely, non-stop, until they finished in the evening. And a little house that's hiding through the hedge has a cockerel. It started off at about 4 30 this morning. About half an hour before sunrise. I don't mind him. Well, makes me think wait. makes me think I'm in the countryside. I'm happy with that. I'd rather have that than than all the really heavy industrial noises that we've had. Look, the sun's come out today, that's nice. It is quite warm and it, it's a bit humid too. But I did notice this morning there was an awful lot of pollen on the surface of the water when I looked out. I think the hay fevers, hay fever sufferers will be suffering today, I think. Luckily you and I don't suffer from that, so we're okay. particular stretch of the canal a lot of trees have come down and this isn't no except you know this is uh, this is one of them and also there's awful lot that's ha overhanging on the towpath um, this is in an area where we had to go almost two and a half miles because of no stern moorings of boats that stretch are safe for nearly two and a half miles and then when we got to this mooring it was actually branches and trees all over the place lovely little property for sale by Black Jack's Lock got its own alligator or is that a crocodile? This is bridge 178 and black jack slot. the horses used to come through and oh you see on the wall here the cuts are made by the ropes horses pulling them through and they would have come up here carried on over there. This is our corner field. Very busy cafe, very popular. Yeah, very nice. Black Jack's Mill, very popular. has been used as a television location for many programmes, including Doctor Who and Midsummer Murders. The mill is a Victorian property built in 1840 and it was used for milling flour. Mills have stood on this site for quite some time and there was one recorded in the Doomsday Book. And I would imagine this was the course the water went into the mill, water driven. And it would have come through this little there's this bridge for people to walk over and onto the canal. Which come onto the slope. Local legend says the mill got its name from one of the workers who used to deliver flour to the mill. He used to mistreat his donkey so much that the locals named him Black-Tempered Jack. 
I would like to think that somebody took pity on the poor donkey and took him off of Jack's hands and threw Jack in the lock. That's what I would have done. Poor donkey. Got a river coming in here. So that side to this side. Oh a different. Water. Sparkling water. Right, this is uh, the river coming in. It's a uh, bit of a slalom course there. This is this is Copper Mill Lock. Uh, not particularly deep one, and there's also a water point. So we're taking on water at the moment. There's lots of new houses been built on the old site of the Copper Mill. As you can see, one of the old buildings there, and this. Was a former arm that went into the mill just there with part of the mill behind it. The big old mill that once stood on this site was a paper mill, but with the coming of the Grand Junction Canal that opened in 1797, they stopped making paper and turned the mill into a copper mill. The copper mill at Harefield opened in 1802. The mill made copper sheets that went on the hulls of the working boats that used to go up and down the Grand Union Canal. And that down there is part of the old copper mill. Now all made into houses. It's a small part of it. So they're from made from the same brick. That's London brick, isn't it? Yeah. So I should imagine these are cottages once upon a time that belonged to the mill. So I would imagine all this stretch belonged to the mill once upon a time. And then look at, I love the old lights on the, the lamps on the corner. So I would imagine that that was. Yeah, cottages for the workers. Beautiful, the original lamps. Look. 
copper tops as well, as you would expect. <laughs> as you would expect. I love the fact they've got little cottages and little narrowboats to go together. Look. Little cottages and little narrowboats. This is, this is quite refreshing here. Because on the Thames, every house had a cruiser at the bottom of the garden, and here they've all got narrowboats. <laughs> it's quite refreshing. Wibbly wobbly, yeah. Nice little residence for ducks. Fields. Range on the trees. very far outside of London in fact we're just on the outskirts but I have to say it's a pleasure to see green fields again I'm a country girl not a townie it was all very nice to visit but uh, no green fields for me not building sites and cars Look at the difference. We're only a very short journey, aren't we? Three and a half miles to go into it. Yeah, three and a half miles. Yeah. What a difference. Ooh, it's a bit sharp to get in there. Long last, it's nice to see some horses again. And they're pretty nice horses too. Nice colts. This area around Stockers Lock was used for the film location for the TV series The Adventures of Black Beauty, which ran from 1972 to 1974, and they filmed 54 episodes in this area. It was a TV series very close to my heart, as I have very, very fond memories of watching it as a little girl. You can still catch a glimpse of Stocker's Farm, which was used in the series Through the Hedges. Yeah.
I'm just going to look at this nice horse too. First. Right. We've come out of Stoker's Lock and we can't find a mooring. It's boat after boat after boat after boat after boat. Just got to see where we end up. <laughs> 